But my understanding of things is everything went fine, loop de loop de loop de loop de loop around an orbit, right, and then slipped out of orbit and into the moon's orbit, and then everything was on pace and everything was on pace, and then landing time came about three minutes ago, but about four minutes ago they lost some contact, and then it landed, but it didn't land right, it didn't land properly, it didn't land in a traditional sort of land way, it more kind of. Our understanding here in the early going, and you know, early fa sounds like it crashed into the moon, and that was that. And it, it, the, what they believe has happened is, you know, everything's going fine, and then at the very last minute, it slammed into the moon rather than landing on the moon. And Phil, that wasn't what they wanted. Now the plan was there was a threshold moment where if they felt like everything was not going perfectly, it would not. Do the final attempt, its last stage of the landing, it would continue in orbit around and then retry. They made it past that point. So it was like the point of no return, and it was heading down. And the plan was when it was about two and a half seconds away from touchdown, uh, it was actually going to stop its thrusters and essentially float down there at zero kilometers an hour. Uh, somewhere in that period, in those last 20, 25 seconds, we believe, is where something. Uh, like you mentioned, may have uh, gone uh, slightly off kilter. Maybe it landed on its side, didn't land perfectly on its pods, or maybe it ended up coming down way too hard. Either way, uh, that's a really uh, a shame for all of the uh, ambitious private scientists and engineers in Israel and around the world who contributed to doing this. And that was Mr. Khan there, Morris Khan, the billionaire who really spearheaded this effort. He put in 30, 45 million dollars of his own to get to where we are today. So uh, certainly he has a lot more money and they will attempt this again. Uh, this was all pretty much just to show and prove that private entities can do what government entities have pretty much always done. And NASA, of course, last landing astronauts on the moon in 1972. And the Trump administration wants to return astronauts to the moon in 2024, Shep. All right. Uh, Phil Keating, live with us uh, down on the Space Coast, or in Florida at least.